Hey yo, my Planet Zoo friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and I am joined with Zelixar. Hey yo. Welcome back to another Planet Zoo Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we got a little bit of a mixed bag. We got pygmy hippos, hippos, and rhinoceros. So stay tuned and let's check them out. All right, welcome back everyone. We're gonna dive into things today. We have four creations to check out. So let's just get right on into it. Starting with Pygmy Hippo Lake created by Pikachu, one of our Discord builders. And here they say, hey yo, this is my creation for the Habitat Challenge for Channel 5 Gaming. It's an African jungle themed habitat with Pygmy Hippos. It has music, donation boxes, three viewing points, and a lot of trees, two shops, some seating places, and staff facilities. It's basically a mini zoo with one habitat. Enjoy, that's exactly what we asked for in this contest. Yeah. Pick me up. Ba -ba. Hey, I like the music. That's like probably the first person who's done that. Yeah, I think so, yeah. A mini zoo with one habitat. This is exactly what we wanted. We got shops, bathrooms, signs of hippos. Getting that theming mm -hmm. going. Represent, I love it. Jungle vibes. Jungle vibes. That's great. Well decorated pathing. Viewing platform up top here. Right over a mud pit too. That's a great spot for the mud oh, pit. I see one. Oh. What is he doing? That looks hilarious. His little legs. <laughs> we'll go check them out in a sec. So the Pygmy Hippo is actually like the collector's edition, isn't it? Oh yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Interesting choice. So how does that work? If I didn't have the collector's edition, would I even be able to open this? I don't know. I don't even know why they put the two kind of hippos in there, but yeah, it's just... Hey, the collector's edition didn't seem very worthwhile, did it? Uh, let me check it. Let me check what it was. I think you got a couple of... Uh... Uh, Planet Zoo, collective search. Oh my god, look at this Zell! <laughs> <laughs> it's like That's a gauntlet! So what the heck? Let's play, uh, Pygmy that... Bowling. Yeah, Pygmy Bowling! <laughs> we need to do that. <laughs> Oh my god, it's amazing! We have to set um, a Pygmy Bowling up. In the arena. No, what you do is you make a bowling lane, but it's fenced on either side, so they have no choice but to go forward. Mm. Then you set up the bowling pins at the end, but then at the, behind the bowling pins, you put like a, a mud pit or like some enrichment so that they're like food, or like so they really want to go. Mm. And then they have to crash through all the pins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to do that. That's a great idea. So yeah, the Pygmy Hippo, it's, it's pretty much the same as the Hippo, but as what, like a fatter neck? Smaller ears? It's smaller. Oh, it's smaller in general. Yeah, it's it definitely is smaller in general. But that's that's a baby one, isn't it? Or is that an adult? Well, that's no, the adult. That, uh, yeah, but it's not much bigger. So in the uh, deluxe edition, you got the uh, big me, you got the Thompson Gazelle and the Komodo Dragon. Some wallpapers and the soundtrack. That's not much. I mean, the soundtrack, the soundtrack is good, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But I think with Planet Coaster, you got the soundtrack for free, didn't you? No, I don't think you get it as like a downloadable thing. Because I, I just went into the game files and that's what I used for my Planet Coaster. Maybe I bought the collector's edition. Was there one? I don't remember. Oh, me neither. Anyways, oh, this is a really yeah. nice enclosure. I, I, I love how immersive it is. And oh, look at the yeah. little man-made waterfall. It's cool. That's nice. I like all the uh, enrichment items. What is that? He's just pushing it along. <laughs> well, <laughs> what is that? I have no idea. Can you click on it. I think we have haven't played this game. It's for a, a while. gyro. <laughs> gyro enrichment. Okay. I mean, they're pretty active. They are. Holy moly! I'm just stomping around. Oh, went between oh. his legs. <laughs> I like this uh, closure a lot. They fun. really like to play with toys. But That's fun. None of them are in the water, which is strange. I like the water viewing. Yeah. 
I really love this pygmy bowling thing. <laughs> I don't think he intended to do that, but it's like pretty amazing. They're like laughing. Oh, really solid job on this one. Here today, I deleted his name. Pikachu. Boom, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I love it. It's a mini zoo with one enclosure. It's exactly yeah. what we wanted. So definitely get uh, keep keep this one on your radar. But we have three more to check out before you can vote. So let's move on to the next creation. Lovely village, too. Yeah. Boom! Hippo Haven by Maurice 20, a Discord advanced builders. And here they say, hi, pygmy hippos are one of my favorite animals. I first saw them at the London Zoo a few years ago. I watched them. Uh, a little girl nearby turned to her mother and said in delightful British accent, this is boring. I'm hungry. Uh... <sighs> She may have been bored, but I wasn't. I had a great time designing the tropical habitat. It includes a staff facility in the back with keeper hut and the staff room. I didn't have much time to add any facilities or guest services. If I am too late for the contest, I hope you all show this anyway, because I'm very happy with what I created in just a few days. Boom. Okay. Cool. Have we seen a lot of uh, basic shape art? No. Not a lot, no. This is great. Oh. See, this is what I love seeing is like representing your animal right out of the get go. Mm. We saw that a little bit in the last one too. Like, why not? They give you these statues, they give you these basic shapes. Have fun, let the guests see, you know, representations yeah. of the animal before they go in. This I is it's... boring. <laughs> nice job on the mm -hmm. hippo there. No, it's great. Let's see more of that stuff. Big open area, I like this. Yeah. So the guests all walked in just now? It's like... I guess so. I guess he opened it before oh. he saved it. Oh, yes. that's cute. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Upper viewing. Viewing. That's great. Where's all the staff stuff? Oh, back here. Hippo oh. staff. <laughs> Oh, here they come. Bird! Get him, boys! Off feet on the 4 4. Get the barrel. Get the barrel. Come on. Uh oh. Oh, no. no. Here goes the AI There's pathy. No in there. <laughs> <laughs> But see, they all took oh. the same route, even for that. It's like uh, the human centipede now. Uh, the... Oh, gross. Okay. Yeah, that's no, getting better. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, that movie just popped back into your brains. Thanks. I didn't really watch it. Oh my god. I, I saw. I saw my sister watching it. I said, "You're you're psychotic." No. Um, it's disgusting. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I love how the uh, staff path thing to the right. I think it's super subtle. Mm hmm Not if you look at it from this one, but if you look at it from ground level, it's just nice off to the side. It's not bothering anyone really. The only no, thing it's, it's just... missing is some of the like donation bids, information, seating. Yeah. A little bit of that stuff. Maybe what you could have here is like a gazebo at the top, so when they get to the top they can get some shade. Mm. You know. I mean uh guess what shade yeah, too. Maybe. Yeah, maybe a little bit more um, like of the trees, not just around it, but a bit more pulled into the build. And I think I would have done the, I would like a long gazebo here, just because you mm -hmm. have one that's open and then one that's like this is serving the same purpose, right? Mm -hmm. So it's kind yeah. of boring. So if one is covered, then it, you can come over here, get some shade, sit, but you can still see the hippos from here. Um, maybe like a fountain or s something going on there. A mm -hmm. sign something like that separate them a little bit yeah. but it's vibrant it's playful it's nice yeah it's elevation sure. has everything the hippos need it's nice yeah yeah great job and you get bonus points for making an awesome little hippo yes Love i haven't it. seen a lot of uh, basic shapes art so 
Yeah, it's true. Stuff. Absolutely. Boom. All right. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. We have two more habitats, so we're going to push things along. So let's check out the next one. Hippopotamus habitat created by Steven, one of our Discord builders. And here they say, Hey, Johnny, thank you for checking out my habitat. Now that you may notice that this zoo is incomplete, I attempted to make the surrounding environment for the hippopotamus habitat so it could feel more complete. And also I could uh, be, feel satisfied with my creation. That being said, I lost motivation for this habitat in particular along with not having enough time to uh, generally to complete it. Uh, please just focus on the habitat alone. After all, the habitat spotlight. Uh, as for the habitat itself, I wanted to make it large enough for it to be able to hold a bunch of hippos. And I think the most of it will hold without the animals getting upset. Over 10 to 12 matured hippos. Hope you enjoy viewing the habitat, Stephen. Boom. Hmm. Okay. So lots of motivation. Um, I like the village you got going on back here. I think it's a bit different. I don't know. What? No. No. <laughs> uh, I don't. He's like I think stuffing himself from speaking. Yes, no. Because no, because I know what my brain wants to say, but it. I. I don't. Say it. This looks absolutely beautiful. This village, right? Yeah. And I. I think you just go too big. Yeah. I mean, I love this, right? So just make it amazing. smaller and and then don't write that you don't like that you lost motivation because then to me it's like eh, you know I am losing motivation. Yes, absolutely. because you said that and then I see this and I'm like wow we've never seen this this looks really awesome. You yeah, know? no it does. So it's a bit conflicting with in my brain like that's ah, that's the best thatched it. stacked ta uh, t little town that I've ever seen. Yeah, same. And like the thing is, you lost motivation. However, uh, I mean, yeah, so you could make the enclosure a little bit smaller and brought it together, but you can spend half an hour on this and really bring it to life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Another 30 mm -hmm. minutes of just placing foliage around here, covering this up with trees uh, all the way along uh, here on the outsides. Just boom, 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 clusters. Make a cluster. Just stamp, 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 stamp all the way around and bring it all together and it's not feeling that incomplete anymore. Cover this right. up, you know, put some trees, big mm -hmm. tall ones, done. Um, yeah, just pull the terrain over. You have mm -hmm. the beautiful village. You started here with the foliage. I mean, that doesn't really take that long to make more clusters like that. I mean, for oh. me, when I was doing these uh, zoo areas, the that was like the fastest part. Like once you've laid it all out, like the, the whole tree pass, putting trees, foliage, little uh -huh. clutter you just go into the filters you go to the nature and you figure out which filters you want to turn on and then you just check all the boxes and then you go okay i'm placing this down here you know rotate it put it here and then you just you start placing all these little things down and it, it just starts coming together so quickly you know well, and mm -hmm. obviously you want a better filter set on there and and oh, yeah of course then you just go 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 and you fill the whole area so quickly yeah and like some of my favorite I, parts is decorating with these reeds and little small. Yeah, areas. and I also think that the habitat itself, it looks great. I think like the shapes, the water. <laughs> oh my god. Shit. It's like a fountain. <laughs> you know, like everything is there to be absolutely an amazing habitat. Yeah. I like what you did with the terrain and this, you know, shelter and everything. I like the rocks over here. It looks great. Yeah. The only thing you're missing is the foliage, and that's like the last part. I mean, yeah. yes, you could have brought the path around, but you're uh, 30 minutes from completing it, in my opinion. Yeah. And, and if you really want to go the extra mile, sure. Yeah, then you're like one, two hours. But, but like you spend 90% of your time on this, that probably took quite a long time to build. And then you're like, oh, Lord, I lost motivation. But really, you're yeah. a stretch away from finishing. And, uh, you know, it doesn't take much motivation to finish up an hour worth of stuff, right? Yeah. Oh. And if you didn't do it, put those like finish that city or that little village and put it on the workshop. Yeah. If it's not there already, because it's really good. It is. That's uh, definitely the hero. And uh, but you said that you know this is an enclosure after all, so pay attention to the enclosure. But I, mm -hmm. I still feel like the uh, that that you know that's where my eye wants to go, and not yeah. so much the enclosure. Uh, I, I I feel like the enclosure itself is lacking around the outside. 
You need better mm -hmm. viewing, some a platform coming out, uh, railings, bushes. The the outside, the parameter, the perimeter of the enclosure is also the enclosure, right? Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. need to put some focus on there. But I like the way you've s set up the uh, the water and yeah, for sure. Yeah, it looks nice. And the terrain work is great on this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like the uh, the shelter for them in the middle as well. You know, you're working with all kinds of different shapes and the roofs and you're trying out all this crazy stuff and it works you know yeah and i i like how it matches that village in the background and now i kind of wish to see more of this i'd like to see like a little tower here and you know maybe a pathway going from one to the other for um mm. the facility the, the staff and then maybe connect it into here and just kind of like make it so that whole thing rolls out i think it has a lot of potential and uh, with that, I look at this and go, oh, I really wanted to see how this turned out. And, uh, you know, and that's why I'm surprised because you're putting it all together. Like, this is sick. That would motivate you more to finish, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because you actually have so. something yeah. really nice going. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but a very strong oh, uh, effort. Check out the underwater there. Under the pathway leading down to the left. Yes, down there. Okay. okay. Yeah, so the pathway isn't quite finished. Hmm. We got some hippos. <laughs> I'll put a very strong effort from Steven, and we have one more creation. So let's go check out the Rhino. Real unicorns have curbs. Created by Kingdom, one of our master builders and golden patrons. Thank you so much for your support, Kingdom. Here he says, natural inviting Indian Rhino habitat. 4,000 meters, 1,000 meters of water. Plenty of room for a new baby Rhino and enough space to express themselves. Habitat central access point is power, a powerful visitor center and a winding entry path forcing your guests to explore deeper. Multi waterfall entry with uh, under understanding bridge over a habitat friendly river central viewing platform in a traditional Indian manner rhinos are fully enriched and entertained with the ideal habitat three different and differently styled education points main building has information kiosk and keeper hut staff room no negative guest effects all right real unicorns have curves hey basic shape art or is it no maybe and oh, that's when the game never mind uh, think about unicorn farts again Unicorn farts. Wow. When do, when do we do? When do we talk about that? It was another zoo episode. I yeah. Don't remember. Anyway. That was a ma. -a. You said something about pooping rainbows. Oh or yeah, that was what. It was. Yeah, and shitting seven colors. That's so, what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going? How am I supposed to? I don't know. Just go through the door. Go through the door. I think that. Yeah. That's. Oh it. hello. I like this. Function room. Function room. Not not functioning. Oh. No, no function, not a functional room. Ah, that's nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> I really like it in here. Oh, very nice. Information boards. It's a rainy day. I like it. Mm hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, the keeper Keep talk at 11 a.m. Cool. Oh my. They don't climb up that? Yeah, I was also, that's why I was a bit silent. I was thinking. They... Hmm. Isn't the rhino hey. skin the strangest thing? Yeah. I really like don't understand it. It's like armor, right? It's like a like shells but it's not because it's like skin but it's weird yeah yeah it looks really strange in real life yes they do <laughs> but they're amazing though yeah it's like a skirt right yeah a, a armor, armor skirt armor skirt yes, it wasn't studied in <laughs> Yeah, it's very nice. And yeah, the shelter is a bit plain. Mm hmm To be honest. 
Well, I like it. I mean, it gives them a lot of space. Yeah. It's fun. I'm a little I'm skeptical not a big fan about of the, this. The wall piece. Not, not the kingdom for the fault, but the that one with the rocks. Yeah, it's a bit I mean, ugly. I really don't like that one. Yeah, it is very ugly. Agreed. In real life, it's also ugly. I really I like mean. this area that you did here. Yeah. The way it flows all the way in. And it, it actually has... It feels like... It's, it's weird because it feels like it's themed towards the rhino. I don't know. It's very yeah. like armored. <laughs> you know? It looks a bit like lava stone, you know? It's interesting. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, I really it like is. it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the, no, uh, I like the gazebo in the middle. Yeah. I mean, I like the shape. Yeah, it's looks a little bit cool. too, like, it's the only thing that stands out. It looks a little bit of an eyesore to me in terms of color choice. Mm. Everything else is kind of, like, a little on the uh, yeah. light side. Mm. Then you should have pulled the Indian theme all the way through. Maybe what you mean, like, go full Indian. Mm -hmm. uh, get all the crazy colors in. But the uh, terrain is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I really like the rock work, and that... Visitor center is phenomenal. Yeah, it is. One of the coolest uh, buildings I've seen in the game so far. The modern pieces are great with the like the reflecting floor and yeah, gives such a. Oh, not from that view. <laughs> That's weird. If you look like this, like just a bit down, like the floor is reflective, and if you look further down, it stops. Yeah. See that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, this? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Mm. All right, so this is the last creation of the day by Kingdom. What was your guys' favorite creation of the day? Be sure to vote on your favorite one so the, the winner can go onto the winner's bracket. Throughout this whole contest, I mean, three, three to four per episode, 25 episodes total. That's uh, <laughs> roughly 75 to 100 competitors. So we want to narrow it down and figure out what the top 10 overall was. So be sure to vote on your favorite for this episode. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Bye now.